Hello one, hello all. It's Saturday, it's propaganda time, and I got some good news. I will not be missing any shows in the near future. Uh, or I'll be able to do the show right before I fly away, so that's how dedicated I am. Dead debate, and Shirazman hitting me nice and early, and thank you for the uh, using the emotes there. All right, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. Um, about two years back, I got an itch, felt really good, went into about uh, five or six tournaments, won them all. Uh, there's a big uh, write-up slash um, tutorial on our YouTube page. Maybe if Shiraz can find it, sorry, I didn't give you the link there, buddy. Um, but it is under our proper tutorials. It's just uh, how to, I've gone forward and backward on this, a lot of different types of mana base. This thing is really good at going wide. It hates cannonade effects or crypt rats and, you know, like like a lot of decks do. But um, if you can dodge that, it, it uh, is pretty good. Because of that, that's why our sideboard's loaded the way it is and because of red. Anyway, we've got four seats. One Lone Plane, four Holdout Settlements, and four Dens is our mana base, along with the uh, Springleaf Drums. I really like to count this, so we're not really susceptible against uh, Ramp. Um, obviously, there's a games when it doesn't show up, but uh, so far it hasn't been too big of a problem. This is almost identical to my original list. I've, Like I said, I've just gone through many iterations, and I just keep coming back to what works so well. So thank you for that, Shiraz. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, Ornithopter. We've got... Ardent Recruit, Glint Hawk, Therabin Inspector, Flare Husk, Brutes, or Ginger Brute, uh, th that's the name of the deck, Springleaf Drum. Our removal is two Journeys and one Harsh Sustenance. This is very key against Tron and getting like Fog Locked because you can get like eight or nine creatures out pretty easily with this list. And kaboom, you hit them with this and uh, smash face, or you can take out a creature with it. We've got for our drop package of one mine, Thought Cast, and the Inspector. Um, these. It, this deck can draw a hideous amount of cards. It can uh, f sometimes feel like uh, fairies, but with a bigger stats. So uh, yeah, it can be pretty cool. And then Chimsky, did you change your font? It looks, I swore you had a capital N for the longest time. I'm, I must be saying things. Anyway, that's sideboard. We got three relics, three festivities, three strands, four hydroblasts, and two red elemental, bleh, red elemental blast. Don't put that on the, uh, what is that one that you, you have to say toy boat five times really fast and nobody can ever do it. That's, that's always fun. Anyway, so yeah, this this list and I go way back. Um, I just, I really, really, really adore it. And I hope you do too. Um, every once in a while, just like last week, I'm just going to play stuff that I like because that makes the show better. And uh, when my energy's up and all that stuff. So you changed your name, got rid of the NL at the end, forgot to include the caps again. Ah, oh, so see, I'm somewhat observant. Okay, this is the kind of hand we just love. Unlike most of our starting hands on any time I stream, we'll keep this. If you look closely here, Ornithopter's the play into the drum, into the recruit. Uh, a lot of times people might skip skip out on that, but drum is so good here and uh, obviously very good against uh, fairies as Ornithopter and such. So, Blair Husk can block Moon Circuit Hacker all day long, etc. For Father's Day, my son got me a few of these. I was thrilled. So, we'll put out the Thopter. We'll put out the drum. Then we'll go get you some. Boop. And we'll say white. We'll probably get ninja, but whatever. Here we go. Two mana, two creatures on turn one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm Tim Skisi. I'm not good at spelling, but I am good at pattern recognition. I mean, most humans are. Yeah, it's just something threw me off with your name. I'm like, wait a minute. What's wrong there? And the first, whenever it's letters, I always think I'm the problem, but... Is this Dark Fairies? Is that a thing anymore? All right, here we go. Let's see. Demir Fay, I guess. 
that used to be quite a deck about what two or three years ago i usually have to add on a year almost constantly because it's just how things uh, work all right i'll bring this out keeping up mana i probably should have played the flare house there if they are on a snare because now they can snare this but i'm not too worried about that i'll bring out the husk got it saved in my propaganda tx file oh right thank you nimchinski yes yeah about every six months i like to play similar lists i mean there are only so many many lists give or take a meta game but just puking out critters here we go kaboom oh man <clears throat> for some reason i thought that other recruit could go happy to be back watching lives daddy o's in the house this last week spent saturday reorganizing my collection oh that is no small feat my friend i hope you had a very comfortable chair and had good posture speaking of which i'm gonna do a, a shoulder squish it's a therapist i was talking to uh people at the computer a lot you tend to roll your shoulders forward and get slunch or slunched <laughs> there's a nice made up word um but if you just literally sit back span your chest and just pinch your blades together and uh, hold it for just a few beats it really helps open that up so if you have any sort of like injury like you feel like you know when you're you're rolling your shoulder over if there's any sort of soreness there i f forget what that's called some sort of impact something or rather but uh it can go a long ways to fix fixing that I think we're kind of pre-boarded here. I don't want to really overstretch. Um, I'll bring in one of these. We'll, we'll lose our little thing there. This is probably good for anglers. Um, I get rid of a tooth and bring in this. I'll try to squeeze in all of these. Gingerbread's more of a late thing. <clears throat> and we'll see how we do. A lot of games go that way, though. You just... You get such an overwhelming board state, similar to how fairies can be, you know, it's like boom, 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 ninja, two fairies, and then they have counter magic in hand. You're like, oh, God, you know, sometimes it's really fun to sneak under control list with this because there's just so much, so many things you can cast. So it's kind of like a mother may I, and then, you know, he slip, slip in that spell at the last second, the one that really counts. Yeah, just last night I was playing and. I threw out a ardent recruit because it looks big and scary and they countered i knew they had i think it was an exclude in hand and then they were tapped out and then uh they're like at three life and i had a uh, ginger ginger brute in my hand and then activated it and threw a tooth on it and it was over okay we're feeling pretty good here we'll keep yeah i've tried builds of this with holdout settlements and um survivors encampment it just it took what was great about the list and really, really slowed it down a lot of draws. It seemed like it was a winning a turn or a turn later often. Alrighty, we got quite a few options here, but I'm gonna go with the settlements. Re there's a very important reason we're running colorless creatures, and this is why, because if we don't have access to white, <clears throat> this happens. And make no fear, ornithopters here. We'll return this, go like this. And then pass the turn. Why didn't that click on there? There we go. Woo! We got a pretty honest turn next turn. We're just gonna, nothing changes, drop that seat and drop the sun chaser right behind it. So, had a really fun game night this week. I was just on a roll. I think we played seven random games from dominoes to poker to all kinds of other shenanigans and i won all but one guess who showed up my son came in for the last game beat his old man that's just becoming a pretty common theme i know i brag about my boys a lot it's a father thing uh, i'm gonna play into um what's the card i'm talking about um Arms of Hadar. If they got it, they got it. It will take out our whole team in two turns if I don't get some more facts down. Here's a fact. Whoop. Let's play the tooth. I mean, look at the board. This is turn two. It's pretty impressive. We have four flyers. We can hit for six. Soon to be nine, ten. You know, this is almost where you hope they have just a handful of counter spells and they just sit back and let you just chomp them. Yep, propaganda. A chance to test any of the new cards from Lord of the Rings. I am so underwhelmed by that set, Nimchimsky. Um To answer your question, no. I have not. All right. Well, we're going to put this on this. I'll take four instead. Get in for some damage. 
Yeah, the ones uh, I spoiled, those three, are about the only ones that I, I will get, but I still haven't even got them. And just, uh, it feels like Homelands Part 2 to me. It's on that scale. Talk about showing your age, right? I remember when Homelands came out, I was so excited by, uh, I think it was Ice Age right before that. And so I had a good deal on like a box. And this is back when I waited tables, so that was like a big purchase. And I bought a whole box of Homelands, and boy, did I open up a bunch of shrinks. I think Shrink had three or four different types of art. It seemed like I got one in every pack I opened. That was such an underwhelming set. And that's back when I played with things called rares. Elven Farsight feels like it could go somewhere. Yeah, just the bad preordained one. Still not too feeling that one. This is interesting. We're probably walking right into a counter spell. Uh, I think we should attack first. I'll come in with both since he's already showing us, uh, you know, what is a snuff out. I guess it could be a snuff out cast down here. That would, I don't know if that would really be worth it, but alrighty. Hey, the green boy 24. I don't think I've said your name before. Here we go. Is this worth a counter? Maybe, maybe not. Boop. I was thinking of attacking with everything, but I, I just don't want to be a late game fay. You know, screwed up. I mean, I'm going to... I'll walk right into the counter spell here. It's a really good reason to attack first. Probably getting, getting cast down, I would imagine. Oh, hey, that works great. Boy, talk about great spell, great time, right? Problem is, board's going to look exactly the same next turn. Here we go. We'll say white. See how crucial these springleaf drum effects are. Almost always want to get that drum out immediately. It turns every creature you have into a hasted bird of paradise. I know I've said that before, but it's a very good analogy, I think. That's why I use it all the time. Can't think of a better one. They've got all the answers so far. We're running out of steam. We really want to draw one of our uh, draw spells. This is a, a common uh, occurrence here. We've got a ground creature, and we've got almost all air attacks. Most of our ground critters, Gingerbrute can get by it. Uh, Flare Husk is there to just be a blocker and then equip. And I might want to equip that Ornithopter just in case they do, especially after a Brainstorm here and with a three toughness critter. They're probably digging or maybe have found a Hadar. I mean, our Sun Chaser would live. I don't know. That's not the best play. Is it? That's a whole turn, too. Yeah, I agree with uh, Nimchimsky there. I'm, I'm not, I'm not familiar with um, the first two. I mean, I, I know I've looked them over, but I don't have those ones committed to memory. All right, we've got a human. Everything checks out. Let's go. Woo! Oh yeah, no Lembas. Boy, do we just draw again? I think we do. Give me another blue source. Gosh darn it! All right, all right. Well, we drew five cards. Not much happened. Summon the Brute Squad. Yes, the Martyr Guy. Yeah, I can't help but play it every every once in a while. I was going to bring it to the last tournament um, on Tuesday, but I had a really weird work week. I think I almost had a panic attack on, this, on Wednesday. I've never had one. I was just kind of short of breath, and I couldn't, could, just felt like I couldn't take a deep breath. And, uh, all right, yeah, Flare Husk would have been nice there. Oh, man, don't be an edict. This usually never work against me, but this is, oh, perfect. Well, that's going to be a fight. Um, I was fine and all. I would actually ended up held. I went outside, laid down, just tried to chill out, take a lot of deep breaths and stuff. And then what really helped was just a nice long hug with my wife, not to sound all Valentine's Day about it, but... Uh, yeah, that seemed to that seemed to do the trick. Okay, well we're off to starting again. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Uh, let me bring out something I don't really care about first. I think we'll do this, and we'll be at four. I'll draw, and hopefully uh, something will come of it. So yeah, but I was I was very 
you know, usually I'm kind of Mr. Tough Guy about that stuff, kind of like man up and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, I was real proud that I just went and took like a personal day slash sick day. And just so on Thursday, I just watched uh, all day. I watched the Tulsa King on Amazon Prime. Highly recommend it. Really, really good show with uh, Sylvester Stallone. About a mob boss moving to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Didn't think I would like it much, but it uh, turned out to be a really good show, and I just had the day. And then I had my s- second full-body deep tissue massage ever. That was uh, not as good as the first time. Guy was not quite strong enough. I'm, I'm built like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, some orc to make a uh, Lord of the Rings reference. I, I need a lot of pressure to uh, kind of feel massages and stuff and all that gymnastics and everything. My my back is pretty pretty strong, so... But it was, uh, it was a nice day, just being able to chill out and reset, you know. So if any of you ever feel that way, that, that was my remedy. If you got any better ones, let me know. My problem, the bottom line is my, my problem is I just care too much. You guys know me and my attention to uh, quality and detail, especially when it comes to editing. And I just, it just drives me mad when something's not done right. Or in this case, you know, a producer was really dropping the ball really want this to land not even for the critter but for the draw cool let's draw <laughs> a massage orc <laughs> mm. boy are we flooded two mana is plenty for this list this is this is nuts all right well let's uh let's do the thing that'll probably get killed at least we're not a uh, edict food here Echoing Decay, don't really see that all that much anymore it's kind of an older list like maybe I would imagine this guy played a lot like a year ago and uh now he's back i don't know maybe found his password or something and here he is but good cards never go bad well that's not true is it i finally got a hold of the obs software people through their discord thing so far i've only been talking to bots but there's just one or two little playback issues that every single update i'm just like will you guys please fix that but so brute squad believe it or not is a damn good finisher in this list because we're very good at getting people to the single digits and then you know magic happens right they get critter down they get a big flyer down and not much out there with with haste so wow they're gonna go to one or do they got a way to kill the brute squad I, I always call it brute squad sorry folks it's ginger brute i should know been here long enough our buddy uh in the chat sometimes about once a month uh, uh tooth maker his his friend was the one that designed Bru- uh, ginger Brute, so i thought it was pretty fitting that it ended up being one of the the better cards there it is okay well back to square one this is when you really want to top deck a ginger Brute. <clears throat> jason brody happy gaming to you sir good to see you and thanks for chiming in Oh boy, I wouldn't do that against me. I guess you got to start somewhere, though, right? Well, they got all the fixings of removal, and here's our friend. Hello, Governor. Woo! Attack! Do we win? I think we win. We win. All right. And away we go. Let's do this and see what we can see. Well, that's a good start. What a WW there. A lot of removal. Uh, one of the best matchups for this deck um, is mono black. The traditional just try to kill stuff. Um, it's just able to keep too much on the board. There are going to be those games where you get stifled at the wrong time and you do draw your two cards and it's land, land. But uh, for the most part, another beautiful start. We'll keep this one. In that tutorial that I did that was linked above... For the uh, first time, I had a lot of tournament success with this list. Um, I go through something that I, I'm really glad I did it. I went through something like 20 live test draws, and I put the res- and every one of them except one, I think, out of like 15 was a keeper. And that one was debatable. Okay. So this is Thopter Drum Inspector, if nothing changes. Okay. And even if this is ramp, we just don't care because we've got the drum. All right, bring bring out the drum, and then go get you some. That's very man. That's a probably the 
the best best truth I've seen, Butter Ghost eighty two. That is, those are wise words. It the art helps too. It just makes it look cute and like unassuming and just like oh yeah, just a little one one. And it's just like nope. Watch this. Yep. It's, yeah, it is tough to put people on. It used to be when you saw a ranger, it was only Stompy. But those were long times ago, young lads. I don't know why I didn't drop that other ornithopter. Is Ginger Root no longer the best food token in Poffer? Oh, that's right. I still like it most. Pretty tough to beat Icker Wellspring if you're talking uh, Lembus or... A Limbus bread, whatever that. Yeah, frothing at the mouth. Yeah, should be <laughs> ginger rabies. Man, that's that's a scary topic. You ever go down the <clears throat> rabies line with a, a doctor or anybody that knows knows much about it? That is like hundred percent fatal if you don't get that treated very quickly. Pretty trippy. All right, they got critters, we got critters. I could get out the big body. I don't know if I really want to, though. Um, I do want to draw cards. Let me do that, since we've got the inspector out. Ah, that's frustrating, isn't it? Not quite sure which one I would want to play here. I don't mind lo losing that husk. I'm going to lean on the husk instead of inspector. And we've got a nice tooth trick here, so... Hopefully we'll be able to trade with something or make them use removal on, on their end. I could attack for one here, but with Stumpy, I'm just going to sit back and, and try to be a uh, win through the air next turn once we develop the ground here. Yeah, I've heard you've got something like less than 24 hours when it when you get bit. And it's screwed. My friend uh, got bit by a skunk and uh, had to get them. And they're like there were these huge stomach shots. And um, but it was made very clear. It's like there's no cure if you don't get you know if if you let it go. So it's it's kind of I don't want to sound obtuse, but it, it's 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 kind of neat to have something like that in the world. Like like it just feels like an old like Grimm's fairy tale like come to life. It's like whoa, that's like really a thing. We will block here. Um, Yeah, I'll just I'll just do that. Well, he might I might have that. No, I don't really need that. Cancel. Okay, we'll do that. There's that new white one too. That it's three and a white, and it puts one one counters on all your creatures. And I was like, man, that'd be so epic if if you drew that at the right time with like white weenie, especially if he did it twice. That'd be pretty awesome. So does he save the Sentinel, or is this a pit salt coming our way? Burning tree emissary. All right, cool. <clears throat> he just gets a 1-1 one, one out of the deal. Uh, we don't really lose a card here, because I, I do like to equip those mostly. It's another line where we just equip Flare Husk on a th Therabin Inspector, and that's, that's, you know, that requires an answer. It's a 2-3 body that's just sitting there all day long, so... We got one card left. I think I'm going to favor the draw again here, just so if we hit a land or a journey, we can uh, deal deal with anything that gets a little too big and out of control. All righty, this feels really good. Hey, let me do the math here real quick. But it still makes the most sense to draw first, so we'll do that. Draw. Okay. We got the land we need, but um, yeah, I guess we could do that. I'm considering um, I could like do that, Glint Hawk, do here, double that. All right, we'll invest in the big boy. Next turn, we'll just empty our hand. Don't really have to worry about against it about Stumpy. Okay, oh, this is just blocking all day long. Um, yeah, Glint Hawk can play like a Skyfisher in this list when, it's, you know, we're a pretty mana light list, so a lot of times it's fun to just, you know, Ancient Dam, boom, return it, replay it, Therban Inspector, that, that sort of stuff. But right now we've got perfect mana. We don't need anything. We're feeling good. Yeah, the Hornbrug's interesting. There's instant cards that do it. But 
Yeah. I know there's a few rabies reference in magic, but it feels like it's straight out of like in a or something. It's like, wait, that that happens here on earth. And don't get me started on some of those weird parasites. Good grief. Hmm. All right. We're going to try this again. Um, I am going to block because we've got so many flyers and I, I want their uh, removal to be on their, their end of it. So, um, let's we'll block here and here. Let that three through. Yeah. We'll be boosting this up. Wow. I really expected some sort of trick. It's probably a pit sulk turn. Okay. Don't mind seeing that at all. It's amazing how much stuff Ornithopter can block. Ugh. Not sure I agree with this. this. is a pretty old school stompy list. There's our friend. Now, obviously, if you're being aggro, which we're not, we're just trying to hold down the fort. This is when we turn it on, though. We can glint hawk and you know activate the tooth, glint hawk, activate the tooth, glint hawk, activate the tooth. That's that's a fun line. Uh, but right now, let's see. We need we need, we need the mana. I'll just be returning the den. The other one will do that though. Yes. Turn, play. Uh, let's do this. Alrighty. I'll activate one of these. Well, no, I'll, I'll go all in on this one. And we will tap one of our guys, bring out this one. I didn't make that sensor hit for five. Oh, I could re return that. So I've got two options here. Since I'm in a blocking mood, I think it might be better to uh, return the uh, Flare Husk. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's like free creature. S smash it into that three or something. And go. I could have made this a five, but I just want to point out the options here. Got to know not only, well, I can't really know your opponent, but got to know their, their list and kind of what your, what, what's in the script for you. That's what I'm saying. Torvus, man, it's been a while. Woo! Yeah, maybe the last time you saw us was we were playing Brute Squad, maybe about six, seven months ago. Yeah, I've gotten so far in the ad advancement of this list and come all the way back to almost the original 75. It sideboard's quite a bit different, but the uh, main deck is right back to when I won a lot with it. All right, prismatic it is. Let's bring in all three of these. I'll take out the harsh sustenance and the ginger brute and... Gingerbrook could really go a long way. And a tooth. Very common uh, sideboard changes here. They were at zero cards, and we were attacking for nine in the air. So I'm going to maybe disagree a little bit there, dead debate, but I get your point. I did try something I called uh, <laughs> Black Brute, and obviously... These went the route of uh, Reckner's Bargain and uh, Deadly Dispute, and then this was a vault, and I made room for the Night Market Lookout. I forget the little dude, so that every time I tap either with the Holdout Settlement or the Springleaf Drum, um, you know, it's lose a life, gain a life. That's pretty cool. May I ask, please, what was the one card you really wanted to work in Brute Squad for its potential, but it fell flatter and hoped and maybe cut? Um... Ooh. I've always, you know, when I when I have a decks like this, great question, by the way. Um, I always try to get shared discovery to work, but it's always on the chopping block. And now I've just I completely ignore the card because if you follow us on YouTube, I had a uh, boy, what a weird hand. Very, very, very weird. Um, we've got early removal, two blockers. I don't know. I'll keep it. It's probably a bad idea, but. Um, <clears throat> I had a uh, Kabolds list with Betrothed of Fire and all these crazy shenanigans and Kabolds and Ornithopters everywhere, and it didn't work in that list. And it's like, okay, that was a oh god, this didn't this is the, the way of the way of the world. I keep a flood, get flood. That's enough lands for three hands. Um, so I've I've completely ostracized that card from any negotiations. The Steelfin Whale was interesting. 
and um, the drone, it's just, this deck's all about that opening salvo, and if you're hiccuped and waiting for a Murn Forcer or such, you know, I had Frogmite in this list for a while, and it just gets blocked by everything, and, and it quickly became an invasion-heavy list, which, big surprise, look, who's, look who made it, right? Oh, boy, what a nice sequence. We might get an auto-concession here, guys. This is, even though we're flooded, this is kind of a, a brutal start. They just go all in, and I mean, we're only hitting them for one, but it's funny, too. I came... <clears throat> kept designing and tweaking and tweaking and I, I went and there's just this huge circle and just yesterday I realized I brought up that tutorial and I was like what list was I running and I looked and I'm like oh my god it is exactly the same 60 just the sideboard's different and you know I I tried everything under the sun there was a there was a blue blue person for a while I think I was playing I had a version with flying men just for the human value and, and a blue uh, early start draw oh the curry or something from the last set that flashes back that, that had potential and interest, but it's just so hard to top what's in here. It's like a lot of a lot of decks where, you know, that, that could have been in the, the, if you reverse engineered it in the beginning, but it ain't going to make it. All right. Well, until they show us Artifact Hate, I'm going to act like, you know, it'll cripple us if they have something like, uh, uh, what is that, Gleeful Sabotage and such. I should have drawn first. A yeah, little bit of a mistake there. All right. Our heavy hitters are here. We'll be fine. Too much land, but whatever. Another neat thing about Ginger Brute, if you do have like some, you know, 10 10 um, lifelink sacred cat coming at you, you do the old block sack with it and then they don't gain the life. It's super important in a list like this or with, um, you know, a 6 6 angler coming at you with lifelink. It's like, good grief. Oh, never mind. This is going to be a game after all. Do, 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 do. If work life balance aligns, how much time do you prefer strategizing, playtests, and leading up to a show to a new viewer list? Oh, I I play quite a bit, uh, Penguin Wrangler. Um, usually I, I I work, and then about honestly my my day to day, my wife would roll her eyes, but when the sun starts going down, I usually you know get one of my favorite drinks and sit there and either brew or play. Play with the public. I just, I just love it. Never, never gets old. And, and, uh, but show prep wise, I usually know what I'm going to be playing by Tuesday. A lot of times, it's what I play on Popper Classic Tuesdays, and then I try to uh, put the fake MTG commercials and and the little spoofs in alignment with what the theme is, and you know, make the card frame kind of match the show. Not always, but sometimes. All right, let's do this. Ooh, that's a that might be needed sooner rather than later, eh? I do believe this is the play. I think we just have to sit on strands here. It's very obvious what we're doing, but uh, this is sort of tempo play, especially when they're one card, and you know we're we're one another Rancor or, or some other trick through, ram through or whatnot from, from getting scorched here. That way we'll be able to block and kill it with our strands flashback. Sometimes the cadence of aggro can really make it play slow, but it, I think it's the correct play with strands. It's horribly obvious to anybody that's played this game. Oh, see, just prevented death. I don't forget the tooth. Oh, I attacked. You're right, I did. I should have. You're right. I thought you meant to play it. I'm like, hey, I played it. <laughs> it. Shows you how defensively minded I am right now. I could ram through in response, maybe. That would suck. We'll call green unless they've got some shenanigans here. Whoop! We got a lot of work to do. Let's forget that ram through hits you too. It's like, whoa, where did life go? I thought I had two swings left. All right. Time to empty the board. We'll, uh, we'll attack here. Yes. Play it again. Attack here. Play this dude. Play this dude. I'll show you what being Hellbent's all about. Can we kill that? We can. 
So let's attack. No tricks, no tricks. We don't want to see a vines. Or maybe we draw into another one and we're able to, meaning another prismatic. If we dropped of one mind, that'd be a nice top deck. I hope I answered some of those questions there. Oh, another, I think Penguin Rally, you're asking, um, or I was talking about actual specific cards. Hollow is another one that comes in and out of my sideboard all the time. And in the end, you know, you just want to be able to counter a red spell. It's it's awesome when you can gain 30 life with, like, saving your whole crew with Hollow. Um, with a, um, you know, being able to, like, a cannonade effect or so, whatnot. But, uh, all right. Our guys will live, at least for this turn, unless they've got... Some sort of new devilry, as I'm fond of saying. Ah. Shout out to the McSlash. They interviewed me about three or four weeks back, and uh, about every two minutes he puts up a popper video. So if you're thirsty for content, make sure to uh, go like and subscribe to him. You know, up-and-coming YouTuber, remember what that felt like. A lot of you are there for it. Woo! Hollow, that's the one. So that one comes in and out of my uh, testing all the time. All right, plan worked. Even a vines there is not too worrisome, but we got an okay clock here. All right, I was really afraid of like pit sulk, like hunger, hunger. It's like, oh my God, how am I going to block that? All right, we'll keep this card a mystery and we'll just attack here. Almost never have to worry about Stompy having uh, haste creatures. So we'll just do this thing. Yeah, I'm a little worried I'll get burned out, Torvis. I've seen that so many times. There's, I run out of fingers if I, you know, there's been some content people from, from our startup. And it's always like, it's usually about a six month window. I, I just, I mean, I think that happened to Cooper the Red. I, I can't speak for him. I, I don't know if he ever said why he was gone so long, but um, yeah, that, that's a pretty common occurrence. What is this? Oh. Oh. Well, that's sneaky. This is... You know, it'd be fun if they gave white something like Deadly Dispute, but you had to sacrifice like an enchantment or an artifact to go along with the theme. Like some sort of Deadly Dispute style stuff. That's something White's always needed. Just a little bit of card draw. Would it, would it kill you? Speaking of killing you, here comes nine. These Ornithopters are going to get in the front of four of that. I don't see why I would want to keep them alive other than that. They will not help cast strands. We'll block here. Try to stay alive. We can... <laughs> We can do s seven damage. A lot of things we draw. We just don't want to see a land. Let's think, uh, hmm, strands would be really nice, right? But for a kill shot, that helps. What's better than one guess? Two. Not what I needed, but I can equip it and win. So that's cool. Let's do that. I like to use its ability to kill itself. Like, what are you talking about? It's just fun to do it this way where you, where you go boom, and then you'll say, I want to add white. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay with this creature, and then I'm going to equip it to this. Yeah, and then we'll attack here. A whole lot of ways to win with this little list. We might not win here. You never know. You might have some sort of trick. Okay, well, I guess they jumped. All right, guys, I'm going to play a little Pictionary, very old Pictionary, so uh, dust off your memory caps, and I'll be back right after I get some more coffee.
Stigmatic Lenses welcomes you to a place you can see magic happen. Utilizing Urza's blueprints, the pieces of the puzzle come together with a quality that is second to none. From our patented millstone polishing technique to our dignified use of stone horn, our lenses bend both light and mana. First exams are free. Prismatic lenses. Hey everybody, a lot of little private jokes in that one. Back and recaffeinated. Woo! So yeah, we have saw the uh, flexibility so far. We've beaten Demir and Stompy so far. Haven't had a match fall here yet. I'm sure that'll change. There's quite a bit of a metagame out there you might have noticed. Let's see here. Yeah, we're, we're already we're waiting for an opponent here. This little sneaky last... This isn't any sort of trick about, like, uh, initiative, go get a land. I mean, that, that can happen. We usually will never need it, but you never know when a Brute Squad will sneak through. But this has always been there from the beginning. Obviously, this leans a little white instead of blue, being a, an Azorius deck. But we do have access to everything in our uh, eight Springleaf drum effects. So, Springleaf or Springleaf? I always forget what it's called. All right. We'll keep this. Whoop. And away we go. Let's see what we're up against. A Swamp. I think I might lead off with the Husk instead of the Ginger Brute here. Ooh, that's tempting too. Uh, I'll lead off with Brute. It's got early removal. Try to get it out of him here. Because we really like our Sun Chaser Ardent here. If that was like a forest or a plain, I would have led with Recruit or an Island. Let's get you around the thought process here. I just... Okay, we've got a window now. Uh, that'd be nice to top deck a seat and just forget about it. I mean, we do have blue mana. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sometimes things just like you, you know? I think that's like the third card I've called off the top. Somebody's played this deck a lot. Yeah, I've been playing this pretty religiously since Tuesday. Like I said, I thought I was going to play in the Popper Classic. Tuesday thing, and uh, it never came to be. Ah, get my headphones up. My wife keeps wanting me to buy the uh, wireless headphones, and I'm like, that's just another thing that can go wrong with all the bells and whistles I've got going on here. I'm like, I don't mind a wire. I know it works. Okay, one big critter down, darn it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Bring this out. Top cast. Cool. Uh, let's bring out the drum. It's just a free play here with Ornithopter. Oh, grab here. I hope they just have a handful of um, edict effects here. It's like, slow down. How much stuff do you want to do on a turn? Not enough. <laughs> Give me some more sugar. <laughs> Frothing at the mouth. You know, that would be almost more terrifying than seeing like a Gurmag Angler or something. Just some just wanton cookie just screaming through town, leaving little crumbs of footsteps behind. Yeah, let's put that to the chat, eh? What do you think would... Let's keep it Popper. Popper card based on the art that, that would um, freak you out the most to see in real life. Like, it would just be like, okay, that's the last last one on the list. Right. Kind of... Freshly shaved head, so I'm trying to keep the glare down. Sorry for all of you out there. Don't mean to uh, blind you. All right, we are flooded. This sucks. I'm going to use this now. I don't want that to die and do the thing, so he's probably got a village rights for Oh, all right, cool. Well, let's attack. If it was white, I'd attack with everything in case they had Celestial Flare, but good to know these things. Like I said, this is usually one of the best matchups. Uh, that creature was a little different. I think it's probably still better than Chittering Rats. I haven't seen it played all that much. But uh, the old one-for-one one removal. Now, this is a little different because they're gaining lots of life, you know? Yeah, Faceless Butcher. You know, I've, we've got any of you want to see. I've got the horror one queued up, the, the uh, Bazooka Brothers Horror Film Festival. It's got all that fake gore and everything. It'll probably be playing that a little bit later but i uh i was listening to the audio back and mixing it and 
I was like, good grief. This is a, I don't know if anybody knows about Faceless Butcher anymore, you know? <laughs> well, we've got plenty of options here. I'm just going to run forward and make these guys unblockable. I'll do that. I'm considering if I want to, you know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. We'll say white here using this. And we'll put this on our ornithopter. Less blockers. And we're attacking. We'll probably lose that recruit or somebody else. Two mana up, five cards in hand. I'm sure one of our friends is going to the grave. As will we all eventually. We got, yep, that's probably the highest percentage play there that you would expect. But there's three unblockable. What do you do with extra mana? Yeah, use it to either equip stuff or make Brute Squad give you life or, uh, or Ginger Brute or sneak through the cracks. And now it's almost not worth killing any of these things, but you kind of have to. Ouch! That's a really good answer. That Thopter will live. Those Flare Husks, man, they can be the MVP in a lot of matchups. They, I, they're just like Ginger Brute, where you're like, really? That made the cut? And if you play this list, you'll understand why. But you do have to kind of get used to the style of it. We'll draw. Sure, I'll do this for the draw. I want to draw. Hopefully he lets me uh, do this before. Okay, that's good. That's really good. I guess we just go for it here. I mean, why not? We'll do this. We'll do white. Because, hey, this creature's not doing anything, so let's make it pay up. We're going to lose our team, probably, but uh, they'll be at a precariously low life total to do it. And then uh, they'll lose Pestilence. So we can we can refill our hand pretty good. Unless they've got some creature to follow it up. That'll suck. They pop it for three right now. These guys are all respectable. There's a lot of cards that do this. That's pretty creepy. But Faceless Butcher is the answer to your or my question there, Nim. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. This is uh, not your traditional mono black, but. Usually I have a really good matchup against Mono Black. I had some back and forth about two years ago. This guy was just so ardent about, you know, speaking of the recruit, um, about like, oh, you'll never blah, blah, blah. And so I literally just called him out. I was like, this is the time. This is the place. And Brute Squad rearranged his face. It took a lot of games. It was like seven games in a row. And I think there was only one or two that were 2-1 victories for me. I'm not boasting. I'm just, it's just a fact. This list is really good against black. Pestilence and Crypt Rats is kind of their only wiggle out. But their life total is usually so low at that point. It just, uh, oh man, that's frustrating, isn't it? Did we do the thing just to do the thing? Well, we can uh, bluff to equip it here. If he misses this, oh, he does. All right. Oh, there we go. Haste. Somebody shouldn't F6 there. Hiya! Had they responded, we could have gained three life in response to the response. But yeah, it's getting it's getting close. He attacks him at eight. Can at least tie it up here if he drops another swamp. Yeah. We can go in with a draw. Uh-oh. Or that. Gary Death, how cool. All right, well, there's our first game down. I'll hold to my thing, though. Um, this is a very different build. In replacement of Chittering Rats, they have a lot more utility. I like it. Strong call. Sun Chaser. Eh, we can't win this turn. We could go up to five life. We block. Yeah, let's do that. We'll keep a little mystery card back. Do I even attack here? I don't think so. We have to eat the cookie to stay alive. Or, yeah, I'm going to equip 
this here. And then we can um, block sack gingerbread if they let it live. Only problem with this play now, though, is uh, we can't use the gingerbread's ability if, if we don't tap out the sun chaser. So I think we lose here. Depends if our opponent's feeling brave or hopefully they're leaning towards the cowardly persuasion. That's a good call. So to stay alive, I eat the cookie. I go to th what? Yeah, and then they, they still kill us. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yeah, we're dead. Let's see. I'm trying to think of a way out of that, but there isn't one. I already wrote the L like a minute ago. Good for them. Nice different build on NBC. I'm intrigued. It's like the, the old shell, but just with those eight replacements, from what I can tell. All right. Our sustenance. We usually take this out. Again, if we see fogs or stonehorn dignitaries or walls, that's when we really want that to shine. I'll keep, I'll keep the journeys in. Those felt pretty good. A lot of this is uh, not very useful. I'll just bring in one prismatic. There we go. That was cool. I'm curious how different that is. You know, my guess is, like I said, the Phyrexian Ragers and the Chittering Rats are swapped for, you know, the two gain life uh, vampire dudes. So, seemed good to me. I mean, what more do you want out of a card, right? Guaranteed life gain. Let's go. Mines are, I uh, always wonder why those lists don't run um, Okiba. Oh, the Okiba Rekna Raid. Yeah, there's a ninja you don't see. The, uh, what do you call, um, uh, oh, what's that one with the discard two? It's, it, ninjitsu's for three and a black. It's Okiba. I keep thinking Rekna Raid, but it's not. But it does share the word Okiba in it. Anybody? Why not many people afraid of uh, cards, are they? Only Nim Chimsky with the Faceless Butcher real life reference. Oh, Okiba Gang Shinobi. Oh, all right. That's right. Okiba Rekner Ray. Okiba Gang Shinobi. They all sound like assassins. Three letter or three word names. Yes. I've been playing zero quite a bit too, so uh, yeah, this feels pretty good. I'm going to keep this. Alrighty, not quite sure what my correct play here is. We we saw um, the file, so I'm actually going to lead on a husk because if he kills it, uh, Glint Hawk can return it and get another creature out of the deal. Would you see some edicts? Oh yeah, the ambusher. That that one I still think is really underplayed, especially if you make like a, a black death touch ping list with creatures like who wants to block a one one death touch right, and then you whoop. Switch it into black ninjas. I got to build a three like that. Alrighty. Well, things here change a little bit. I guess we can double cast that. I don't know. Let's. Yes. And we're back. There we go. Oh, God, our opponent's still here. Okay. Boop. Well, it's definitely an OBS thing. There was an update this morning. I hope that fixed it, and it didn't. But now I have a screen recording of what it actually said, so that's better than blank nothing, right? And Chimsky. All right. Let me close this down here. Welcome back. All right. Thanks for having, being back, guys. I'm just going to have to put up with that till OBS gets their act together, I guess. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. All right. Really welcome that draw. We'll bring this out. Bring out the drum. Uh, Man, that's so frustrating that that actually worked and, and got me. I don't believe that's worth a journey to nowhere. So we'll attack here and go from there. Woo! I rarely get to use that technical difficulty graphic. So I was like, hey, look at this. <laughs> Check one, two. Yeah, something about that boy. Alrighty. There's something we need to journey. Could uh, experiment with, what is that? Uh, destroy evil, that white white removal card. That, I forget what that one does. Can someone bring that up? Thank you, Penguin Wrangler. I appreciate the love and the hype and whatever else you want to call it. Alright. 
let's click real slowly <laughs> and go like this. Attacking. Hiya! Consider once we get a few critters out, I'll be blocking that blister beetle so that there isn't so much devotion on the helm. Daddyo, destroy evil. That's the one for greater our enchantment. It's just no stip. I almost always want it to be a creature, and then in that case, Journey always grabs it. There might be a 3 3 with evasion or shadow that in a w scenario, and then you're just staring at that card as opposed to Journey. Journey's not an end all, though, because something like Destroy Evil, end of turn, can, can do it. Damn it! All right. Just biding time. We're drawing kind of dead here. We really need to, uh, a card draw spell here. Hey, there's one. I just keep doing that. Let's just walk right into a... Uh, um, what am I... Uh, of one mind. Oh, <laughs> man, that's five. I think if we're counting, I think that's the fifth call from the top. I said, because this one technically counts. I need a draw, and then I did that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I will be attacking. I'm going to do this to here. Cool, cool. All right, we'll do stuff next turn. Oh, shoot. I I played that land, and it lagged, and so I, I could have gone with two, but all right. We'll rock like this. That's a good point, Nimchimsky. Unfortunately, I'll play it without the haste, now that we've proven that we don't want it. Man, my chat just... Gosh dang it. What is going on with this feed? It ain't working. Strange. Alrighty. I'm flying blind, so this is this is mega frustrating. I got I gotta fix this. Might be time for a new computer, but I don't know why it would never do that otherwise. Like all week it doesn't do that until I stream and use OBS. So I really don't wanna foot the bill for something like that when it's technically, you know, this happening. Alrighty. Let me see. I'm going to put this on here. Then we'll play the Thopter. Um, hold on. Did I screw that up? I'm all flustered now. All right, we'll, we'll play this out. My idea was to return the flare husk after combat, so I had another blocker, but like I said, I have just been flustered because of all the shenanigans of OBS. I'm wondering if... Oh, I'm still frozen here, as you can see. So, Darn it. All right. He's a goner. I cursed myself by saying I'm have really good games against black 90% of the time. This is that percentage where maybe it isn't the case, right? They've got enough critters except in the air to uh, just keep haggling with us. This is this is a cool little list. I'm not sure about the blister beetle. I think I'd rather have that be a fume spitter, but... <laughs> I am going to have to see. I hope I don't have to double upload. That would really suck. All right, we're just taking this. Is this damage or just loss? Loses life. Ugh. A lot of these are loss of life. Darn it. All righty. Let's grab Gary. Might be our first loss here. If the stream did split, I'll have to edit them back together, which is always a pain. Hmm. I don't think we have to worry about dying next turn so let's make things better I'll do this and come over here I can block there and there and then worry about uh, prismatic next time on the next episode and the only time that happens is when I run OBS and MTG and they've been having a lot of updates that's so about weekly when I log in it there's another update so this is good. I was just chatting with them. I'm going to bring this up. Problem is, it's all robots. Block here and here and here. Take two, I guess. 
Torvis76, you got a skid idea. Yeah, just make sure you um, propaganda at gmail.com and um, make sure you pay very close attention to the spelling of your username. Okay, so I can give you credit maybe somewhere in the ad, sneak it in, that sort of thing. Thank you for that name, Chimsky. Yeah, that's I'm pretty old school that way. I'm on Discord every once in a while, but that's a horrible way to get hold of me. As is Facebook anymore. I know I bitched about that plenty, but that used to be kind of the hub where you could just post everything, pictures and long descriptions on why this and that, but we just use our YouTube channel slash community tab. You know, there's videos and then there's something that says community, and that's I have about four or five pictures there a week or something magic related. Once in a while it isn't. I try to never do that, but sometimes it's uh, deemed necessary. I think we just take this. All right. Could argue we want the uh, prismatic in the yard. Okay, so here comes another two. All right. Serrated in the house. Two to draw. Ah, definitely should have. That was a mistake. That is damage, and I know that. So that's a punt. Hopefully it doesn't cost us a game here. Gary, and that is just enough to kill us. Isn't that cool? Let's look for something, even though we don't really have anything that can help. Oh, they got us. Awesome. L L. Boop. What a way to win. Gary finishes off us off. If you're a fan of Gary, right when the pandemic started, um, we actually had oh this is weird. I wonder why it's doing this. Zoop. Here we go. But when the pandemic started, we did I I'm a fan of making masks in art. And um there you are. So we, I've got a little video of that I play sometimes, but all righty, let's see. Practice, Brood Squad loaded up. Let's go. 38. That was that was a, a, a weird one. Like I said, this usually if there's swamps in, in play, we usually write down W's, but as our opponent will probably admit, magic happens. Hey, thank you for that Penguin Raider or Rider Wrangler. <laughs> Adding verbiage to your name. Oh, we'll mulligan this. No land in tow. We'll keep this. Too much land. Let's get rid of the plains, even though it's beautiful. Two mana is flooded for this list. All right. Hmm. Let's play this out. Our blocker. We'll get this dude down so he's big and fat next turn. Despite what counters come our way. We're probably walking right into a Fey and Fey Husk or Fey Inspector, I would imagine. Oh and no, I I haven't worn it for Halloween. I wear a much scarier one, but um my youngest walked around town with it on. One person got it. Been funny if <laughs> it was one of you or somebody from the f fan base. I've been that would have been hilarious. Oh, didn't even notice you post that, Nimchemsky. Thanks so much. Well, there goes our best creature. Let's hopefully draw another one, shall we? What is this? You are fairies. I'm thinking. I'll just write that for now. Cool. They don't have to know we're on another color until we want them to. Bring this out. Bring this out. Probably be equipping that Thopter very shortly. Oh, <laughs> that'd be pretty awesome, Nimchimsky. I spend so much time on those. They're always, always just, usually they just live on our walls. I have way too many masks in this house. Oh, this is some interesting brew. What's this color combination called again? I don't have this one committed to memory. 
Hey, look at that. Make it look like we just drew Tamir. That's right. I started a new job this week and enjoy some Brute Squad vibes. Hey, Penguin Ra Wrangler, thanks for that, man. All right. Well, we'll be uh, attacking, so let's do this. Draw some cards. Funny, we have anti-spell pierce or spell whatever it is. I pay two extra. Yeah, tell us about the new job, if you don't mind. Thank you for that. Name Jim Ski. All right. We got all kinds of goods. Well, no risk it or biscuit. Let's go. Boop. Hey, Wiki Bear. Quadratic Hawk showing the uh, the true fan love right there, man. <clears throat> Still, best skit on Conan. I wish there were 10,000 more. I think they did it five or six times, and I got all of them. Man, those are good. I like having super specific emotes like that, so I know who the hard, hardcore uh, longtime viewers are. Quadratic Cox, definitely one of them. Man, oh man. I am just going to... Uh, I had to send whoever's in charge at OBS like the last two feeds and been like, is this what you want being said about your product? Now fix it, damn it. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of an interesting option. I still think... Best rollout here is just to draw some cards first and see where everything lands. We might rock, walk right into a tooth or more draw. Of course, we can't really do anything with that because we don't have another blue source. Hmm. Yeah, no sense in doing that other stuff. I think I'm just going to attack first here. Let's go. Therapeutic Game Master for Autistic Teams. And holy boy, that's specific. <laughs> Death to the Sun Chaser. Damn it. Here comes Threshold, so we're going to have to start keeping our little dorks back, but these will buy a lot of time blocking these guys, but we'll end up probably taking six this turn. Um, or, uh, let's not make that happen. I will glint hawk back our blocker. Boop. Play it again. There's a blocker. And another one. And they're just like, get threshold, and then they're like, uh, <coughs> oh, what's that one? Um, Volcanic something or other, you know, the two damage to everything, the power blast effect. Bopper Tim, good to see you, my friend. I was thinking of playing my latest build of eight rat, which Popper Tim helped out with on uh, our community tab. We're going backwards and forwards, and appreciate your uh, advice and not being heavy hitting enough. But I was like, you know what? I just played swamps last week, so. Oh, there's Lorian revealed. Oh, that's a lot of mana. And I've yet to see it uh, draw cards. It's always just land cycling. So I don't like it because if you can if you can do that, you've you've if you can commit five mana to draw three, that's such a specific game state to be in. I I just don't think you're winning if you do that. Really like seeing that. And because we probably won't be attacking with this guy. We'll just draw some cards. Okay. Let us... Um, do I just want to encourage a swing mentality here? I do want to block with... I don't think the extra one is worth not having a blocker. So we'll play this out. <laughs> cast journey to nowhere if this wasn't there be like oh crap <laughs> i've done dumber things believe you me Alrighty, yep we'll diversify a little bit let's draw a card two all right attack Boo, doo, 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 doo. keep that guy back for blocking yeah if you like one mana cyclers they just it is hard to argue with that. It's just might as well just be an Ash Barons and 
decks that much runs that much smoother you know okay so we save three take three this will die but not really it's like a 0.5 death because we still get all the benefit of the thing and then the glint hawk can breathe the flare husk back to life what the hell is this thing anyway i've always wondered like is that a head on top or what's going on here it's a weird one we haven't seen too many uh critters so i think it might be worth taking that out just so i can go for it here i want to keep this in my hand in case they counter this or they, they might let this through if they have a counter because they think i might be baiting them because you know oh you're getting rid of a zero three big deal if they zap it okay you know what i didn't want to have happen i'll equip uh i think we can win this race famous last words Oh, right, yeah, the thing from Adam's family. That's a good guess. Boom, boom, boom. They've got red up, so I want to keep our attack options open here. I really don't want to see a... Gosh, I keep forgetting the name of that, like, breath weapon. That'd be brutal right here with all that three toughness backside. I always like to keep my opponent guessing. I really hate to play, especially with aggro lists, when people... You know, they put it down their sixth mana, and it's like, what? Just hold it. Make them think you got something. Like, like showing them like a poker hand. Just, here you go. I wonder if there's a way, speaking of OBS shenanigans, if there's a way to um, go back to old builds. Man, about seven or eight builds ago, it was just super robust and didn't have any of the issues I've been having. It seems like every time I update it, there's more problems. We'll do this. Okay, I've got to start blocking pretty soon. At least our Ornithopter would live through a uh, breath weapon here. Trying to keep our threats even. I actually value this one more, so I'm going to make this the scapegoat if they want to kill for uh, defense sake. The equipping's a chore. I shouldn't really care that much because it's... The last thing you want to do is pow yeah, power that up because it's still our best threat without having to invest much in it. All right, that's gone. Thanks to the tooth, though, we're still grinding things together. I'll hold that down. <sighs> How many bolts? They've only got one bolt left. And at this stage, if we draw a um, of one mine, there's only one left in our list, so I think it's time to let the inspector go. Take one for the team. Let's block. Another glint hawk would be great here. Could attack first, then return the husk, have a blocker. Card draw. Eh, two think that great. We're one bolt away from dying here, but I'm going to go for it. I'll do this. Let's attack. Am I really going to block? I don't think so. Do I go all in here? I think I am going to block. Hopefully they don't have removal. If they do, we can just equip the other one and have a pretty good blocker. But That's a respectable little thopter, ain't it? Mystery card in hand. Arm colors, boom. Yeah, that's a good call, quadratic hot. Now, if they drew that Lorian revealed, that would be pretty cool. But again, do we win? Let's call Ginger Brute. Going for the kill card. Did he find the last bolt? You know, they are playing snow covered, so there could be a scred amongst them. Four mystery cards in hand. We are getting flooded here. But we got to go for the win. Do we get there is the case.
Let's see. I don't know of a red spell that gains life. Did we get past the monkeys? Nope. They got us. Cool. All right. There's an ill. Let's go to the next game. Uh, hmm. They seem to be pretty heavy on those. Journeys aren't going to do too much. Harsh goes out again. Did see quite a bit of red. I'm thinking Prismatic's going to be good here. Maybe two Hydro Blasts. Or do we pick on the Graveyard? I think we just go with Hydro Blast to keep our dudes alive. I'd really like to play one more of these. Ginger Boot. I cut to three a lot on Ginger Boot because it's just more of a finisher card. I don't really like seeing it early, but it's off awesome if you don't have any white sources or, and you just have like a holdout settlement or a drum. Let me do this. We could cut a... Th I'm thinking of cutting th ugh, cutting a Thought Cast because they're probably going to bring in quite a bit of uh, artifact hate, but the holdout settlement can really keep us online versus a Gorilla Shaman. If uh, I let that go, I'm going to play one of these. So we've got a little wiggle room out of a lot of those 1-1s, one or maybe we'll catch some uh, mongoose early, right? Just don't want to see it all that much. More for entertainment value. That's the key. Woo! And I'm still, like, frozen on my little OBS here. Glad I didn't have to do a hard reset. I'm very curious if it's going to be one file or if it's a broken feed. I like to play first. Yes. Beautiful hand. Keeping this. Actually, I would really like this to be a drum, even over a seat. But we'll take it. Get out our flyers immediately, depending on uh, how invested in red they are. More accurate play, yeah, that makes me really nervous. The more accurate play might be Thought Cast, in case they just come out with um, Mr. Gorilla Shaman. Hmm. Well, I've got ways of wiggling there, so change the plan. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Got a little picnic planned with our neighbors today. I'm sure we'll be playing. It'll spill into another game night. That's just how we roll. Oh, man, that has to be an island. For some reason, I thought that just said land cycling. All right, Mr. Gingerroot, I see you. Let's find some defense. Not like that. I don't want to walk right into a breath weapon. Obviously, I'm attacking for four here. Do I make it five? Do I just go all in? You know, I've got this, and hopefully we draw into uh, anti-red. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the envelope here. Let's, let's play this dude out. Let's get the quadratic here going. And I want to return, I think, my, my ancient den. Well, no, we, we've got the anti-gorilla shaman here, so I'll be all right. We'll just return this. Play it again. And attack. These are so awesome when you know they sit there and they think they got you and they eat all your lands and you're like, well, I only usually need one mana. Prismatic might prove a little <laughs> troubling. It's hard to get it in the yard without casting it in this list. And no, I'm not gonna run patrol hound. Okay, well that's very good news. We didn't see anything die. And sometimes they just don't have it. There's always that case. I think I just attack here. Attack! Whoa! Man, I wish Ornithopter was white. Okay. Nope. Red. Hmm. 
make the mistake and forget that Ornithopter is not white. And they're like, oh, I can't, can't kill that thing. <laughs> Hope for ignorance. That'd be a good magic card. You build a blue, white, monk, knight, enchantment deck. <laughs> the good news about leaning that way with a design penguin is that um, you could actually you actually could be favored when it comes to uh, staying alive against red decks, right? So it's like immediately sort of an option. Ah, I think we need to draw a card here. I'll do it with these two. That feels good. I don't see a reason to run those out. So let's just attack again. We'll attack like this. Making sure that he needs haste to do anything. Just want to get some threshold has been reached. I don't think the relics are needed against this kind of list. I'm not worried about a mongoose. Yeah, quite a, quite a few, isn't it? Well, that's not damage, darn it. And we can't eat it. Exile. Ugh. There's a new card for everybody. Woo! Pretty neat option. Two target critters. Yeah, it'd be really good against me early. There is a nice amount of flexibility happening with uh, magic and especially popper where there's a lot more of these choose cards. That's that's just awesome. So many avenues. W there. Let's see who's gonna win the tiebreaker. I like how we boarded. Again, I don't think I'm gonna need that relic. I'm bringing that fourth one of these. Let's go. They had a lot of respect for Ginger Brew, didn't they? I think he just means the physical gesture when somebody kind of hits it out of the park, right? Boom, boom, boom. How fun is this hand if, if they have a, uh, a Gorilla Shaman, right? They might not even have it in the list, but... Keep this. I'm going to lead off with a springleaf drum here unless I see a nice ornithopter. There's probably a, what is that, a, a gif that does that? Ornithopter. All right, that would have been really weird if that happened, right? I'm going to play it safe and just drop a drum. Next turn we'll do stuff. Hide behind Hydro Blast here. That's cool. Ooh, might have to get more of these. Those are pretty nice. What do they call those? The Equinox art? Not quite sure how they're referenced. Making good use of those. All right. Hmm. Two creatures or one? Let's go with two. Let's get this out. Get this out. And then we can hide behind counter magic. And next turn we'll drop our big sun chaser. Sun chaser, the Arisa. A lot of powerful women in this list. There we go. Don't really have to worry about any graveyard tricks with only one in the yard. That might change soon. Well, everybody just showed up, huh? I guess we'll just do here. I guess we play this before counter magic shows up. Good. And we can EOT smash that clue. Only going to do that against a tapped out opponent, though, especially since we have Hydroblast up. One card eventual draw this turn isn't that needed. Man, it's feeling great. Goal here is to keep uh, Sun Chaser alive. You know, that card makes a lot of sense because when I went, I've been hang gliding before 
so thrilling. And I never knew that it has to be sunny for a hang glider to work because of the thermals that come off the earth, the little invisible, you know, heat rivulets that are going up. And uh, that makes a lot of sense to chase the sun so that you can keep traveling. I dig it. Anybody else out there ever hang glide? It was my Father's Day gift about 10 years back. My wife thought I was going to be about 40 feet off the ground. She looked up and I was, gosh, I think we got close to like a mile up. It was very sunny. And uh, I still remember the guy that helped me out. He actually died about two years later. It was on the news and he was kind of the Yoda of the skies. He taught like most of the people around here. And uh, yeah, real tragic. I guess it caught up eventually, right? Okay, I still don't think we have to worry about threshold, plus we've got prismatic behind this, so let's attack. Getting closer. All these tricks still might be able to take out a mongoose with the help of prismatic strands. I don't think it was a case of that. I think he just... Uh, Messed, messed up. Um, I think I um, I think I strands here. I'm gonna tap like that so I can play Glent Glent Hawk and still have Springleaf Drum. There's no colored mana coming our way. I'll say red. Maybe he's got a land cycler here because they're at six. It's another reason I did that. Guess they're going to do it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Change of plans. Here we go. Glint Hawk. I guess we'll bring back this. Play it. Did we already play land? That's fine. We've got we've got the drum, which was my first plan, so we'll just do that. Again, it's all about keeping that sun chaser alive. There I have a feeling their hand is they're flooded or or Yeah, that's unfortunate. At this stage of the game though, I don't really care about it. I almost want them to eat all of our stuff, but will the threshold work? Because then then these guys get neutered. I mean I've got it, I'll play it. It's um I've got enough that they could they could have eaten. All right, well they still will. Now they can only eat one thing. Might be able to kill them in the meantime. No. <laughs> that was really odd. That would have gone mana base big time. Okay. And just like that, our creatures are weak. I've got one more great attack, though. And here we go. Everybody at full speed again. Let's attack. Actually, let's attack and keep him back. at least prismatic strands to get rid of the threat here. Boop, boop, boom. Call green. Here we go. Threshold that. Bye-bye, lands. Be really cruel if he grabs the drum. Go after the seat and the drum. There you go. There's the drum next. I would have gone drum there. That's what I mean. It's it's very unfortunate. Same with like breath weapon stuff, but there are ways to play around it and built in defenses and the planes and the drum. I mean eventually they can kill the drum, but the planes is the most important part of the list, so that shaman's getting hungry. That's a smart move. It's like, you're not going to block with it, so get some value. Well, that's pretty cool. I think we'll just hold the seat until we need it. 
and hold my seat. Really like to drop a holdout settlement or even top deck two of them just so we can play everything we draw again. At 19, both mongooses are dead. We might still be able to get there. We might force the shaman to block. That happens in a lot of games when they do manage to get one out. We had the Hydro Blast. They had the Spell Pierce. That sucks because that's going to cost us a lot. As far as uh, defense. Still got them on a two-turn clock, but they probably found a way to, I would imagine, kill the Sun Chaser. I even considered... What's the Velkadin Azorius card? It's a 2-2 protection from red. I play it in my uh, anti-red list about every eight or nine months. With Steel of the Godhead and such. Velkadin Outlander? God, I hope I don't have that right. <laughs> I do that like once a show. Ah, so, uh, yep. Kaboom. All right. Yeah, this is interesting. We can make two artifacts. They can chew one of them. So that's not the greatest use. But I can draw. I think I'm going to do it. I'll play this out. Knight. Draw. Probably should have attacked first, but I just want to make sure. All right, we got one. Cool. Three mana has been achieved. Let's attack. Come on, Shaman, what you got? With an active Shaman that he's activated, I don't think it was worth trying to bluff in a... Uh, a move there. I guess since I attacked anyway, it's probably the play, but we don't care about our faculty lands now. We've got a holdout settlement. Yeah, Galena's Knight's the other one. Pretty much identical, except one's an artifact. The other one's just a human. And got the Vel Vid Vidalcan, or what is it? Vidalcan. That artwork is so superior to Galena's Knight. Galena's Knight looks like some carving on a marble wall or something if I remember right boy they like threshold I never try to build list too based on the graveyard there's just so much so many ways around it but they don't come prepared oh that's a nice heavy hitter god where's our prismatic strands I don't know if they know that they can eat the drum with the shaman it's even the old artifact color it's screaming get me This proving quite resilient. Okay, ask shall receive sort of thing. No sense in attacking. Might as well be able to double strands if I need to. Well, that'd be reckless, huh? What could that be? I'd probably do it for a breath weapon. Another cannonade. Same card, really. Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder if I would think this is as pretty as I do if I wasn't born in this kind of atmosphere. These these are like the trees from my old home growing up on a lake. Darn it. They did the thing. All right. I could have preemptively prismatic there, but I don't see the need. Our mana is going to be fine after this hit turn. Cool. We've got ways around stuff. I don't really even see why I need to kill the shaman now. I mean, eventually I, I probably will EOT it, but he might just have another one. I don't like the Alkalites anymore, Nimchimsky, because of uh, suffocating fumes. Just seems to really get there. All right, let's try to sh stop this shenanigan. Let's blow it up. Does he got another one? He might just go find another one with Brainstorm. I've got money for spell pierce. <laughs> money or mana? Hmm. Bye bye. 
gorilla. Hmm. I love the attitude of this ape. He's just like, it. I think I've said this before, but it's like you're walking by and it, it just happened to get this really rare thing that your party in the woods or whatever is is needing. And you're, you're trying to just appease it like, don't piss it off because it looks like it just at any minute might go crunch. <laughs> just destroy it out of gorilla rage. This is a problem. Archaeologists, terrors. What is this? Some Arctic expedition? Woo! Okay, we've got a kill card if we get any way of uh, boosting it. In the meantime, I'll sit back and do nothing. We get a tooth. I think we're down to one or two main now, though, so that's why we haven't been seeing those. I'm glad this matchup happened, because you can see why I do have one plane and the holdout settlements for situations just like this. <laughs> Prismatic experience. Does your partner have a breath weapon every morning? <laughs> well, now, there's no one improved. I guess we'll get out an artifact. This doesn't really matter. Might help to pay for a spell pierce in a crucial time. And we are only one away from getting you-know-what. Yeah, we have prismatic lenses, which we just just played that commercial. <laughs> when I first started editing, there was a system, it was called the uh, Trinity, and uh, it reminds me of OBS because different days, different users, you would get different errors and you couldn't recreate them, and those are the worst kinds of problems to have. Let's see, no, I'm going to prismatic here. All blue, obviously. Gives us a few turns and an extra spell in our hand. Wink, wink. Of course, it's in our yard. Ugh. I'll keep that a mystery card. That way, if we top deck a uh, sun, sun chaser, we can do something with it. Never fails how... <laughs> What an insane amount of percentage of games Prismatic Strands has on, on stuff. I mean, it's just, there's, you just can't win in some matchups, but if you have it, it's just, it's so mean. It's kind of like almost like weather the storm amount of meme. I'll take this one. I've only seen two lightning bolts from our opponent, so I've got to, got to start playing a little more conservative after this. Favoring our white critters until we don't need to anymore. God, come on. I don't need... Well, at least I can block with Thopter. We'll keep our strands in yard as long as we can. Keep that mystery card back. Did we see a hard counter spell from this list? I know we saw Spell Pierce. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Remember that. I think it was game one, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. I've just been having so many little hiccups with OBS. I don't know what's going on. All right, we let a Thopter die here. Razor's Edge with uh, regards to... Uh-oh, okay. And that's why we like strands, or why we didn't strands there, because now our next turn's very obvious. Four cards in their hand. I got a feeling they're going to counter anything we do. Come on, something relevant. That's very relevant. I like that. We can keep a uh, secret card in our hand. They got a counter spell. They probably do by now. I'm more than halfway through their list. Wow! I cannot believe that uh, worked. Yes. Got to be real careful here. I don't think they're going to want to counter a. Uh, Ornithopter. I don't want to bring back the drum because I don't want 
not to get uh, spell pierced. I'm going to keep up that two for. Okay, we've got. The problem is, you know, it might be the best play here might be to uh, lean on keeping that hawk alive, and uh, losing our team. The uh, um, keeping our strands is what I mean. Like you know, do like a block block with um, ornithopter inspector. This is tough. It suggests that they have even more. I'm going to go for the win here. We're going to play this. I'm not going to be blocking with this, so I might as well do that. And we could have another one. Red. Yes. I just want to click nice and slow. Everybody still there? Chat got real quiet. And with the issues I've been having, my frozen visage, just want to make sure you're all with me still. Oh, well, that, I guess, makes a little sense. Uh, now I have to double block. Yikes. Yeah, if he can deal with the uh, inspector. Hmm. All right, thanks for that, Torvis and Shiraz. Double blocks, really, about it. Only one lightning bolt left. They have 23 cards. I'm going to savor the life here. Like a ginger brute would be really good here. They played pretty patient. I'm pretty sure they have a scred with that Glint Hawk's name on it. Yeah, ginger brute would be a really good top deck. Flare Husk would work. Ouch. Looks like we're going to lose. Now we need it to be a uh, prismatic strands. And that, my friends, would have been six in a row, but it didn't happen that time. Well, let's focus on we got beat by good cards in the terrors and not the mongoose. No offense to the list. We did lose. So let's go for the, the last lobby. Woo! Create. And it get all shook up when the uh, software goes blob. And a nice streak at the beginning and then crunch, including the software. Cancel the tooth. I'm liking this hand because, can anyone point out why this hand is good? What card makes you keep it? It is the husk. Because we can play the husk and get white mana. We can't play these without the husk. Keep. A lot of people can't figure out with this list. Take a little bit of time when you start up and go like that. All right. This is probably ramp. Let's see what we're up against. And since our stuff will probably die, I'll bring this out. That holdout settlement might not be enough. We really want to top deck a drum if this is a land destruction, which we're all pretty sure it is. Here it comes. Acid Moss. No? Wow. Black. Interesting. Well, let's count ourselves lucky there. Think I want to think uh, development over... Um, I'm going to inspect here so that I can thought cast sooner. How will you thought cast? Let's call the tooth. All right. We can have one mine next turn, drop the recruit. Might consider the journey. If I see another enchantment or a land, I'll probably leave the Arbor Elf alone. Not going to feel too safe till we get a drum out. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, they'd have to have like land, land, land destruction, land destruction. In the meantime, we're attacking, so. I think that was the right play there. Could I have gotten there without the. Uh, no, I couldn't have. Something wicked this way comes. Oh, hey, there's a new card for everybody. Zoom in on it so y'all can read it, just like the movies. The Troll of Kazadoom. Can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. Interesting choice. I like their uh, focus on evasion for sure. That definitely changes some of the things we're going to do. 
Speaking of things we're going to do, um, boy, this is a strange decision tree. Ah, I think we journey, journey mind, or uh, no, let me journey and then get some power out. I want to start hitting stuff, man. Of course, I could just draw, yeah, that's, of one mind will probably draw us a mana source. So let's do that. Did I already play a mana? Am I a dumbass? I am. Okay, we'll do this and then white. Let's favor here. I'll get rid of that troll. At least for now. Who knows what shenanigans, what new devilry they have, right? Come over for three. All right, next turn we're going to start doing stuff. Darn it. May have wanted to just let him have it. We don't have any evasion out. That's what I don't like about that sequence. Had we dropped the hawk and like hit for one more with the tooth. Eh. That doesn't make sense because they would have blocked. Altosaur. This is getting frustrating quickly. Really need a ginger brute in this matchup. These things can do all kinds of stuff to us. I was talking to an engineer at the uh, 1K event in um, Pasadena, and he had a really neat take on ramp. I think he only ran two of these, and he had all this these math sheets on why, and the curve. he really respected the curve and the timing, and yeah, it was really cool. What's his name? Did I have that written down? You know, from Brute Force MTG. I think it was, his name was Matt. All right, let's find options. I like the natural den here. <laughs> we can almost take down that Altasaur with our dudes right now. That'd be funny. Bring out a recruit. Bring out a thopter. Um, tempted, very tempted. Uh, that's going to be three. It's going to be two. White here. Hmm. I'll just do this to do it. Yes. Come on back. Woo. Go here. Go like this. Okay. Yep. I'll bring back the Thopter, replay it. That makes you almost want to have an Anthem effect in a deck like this, right? Let's see if we could take down that Altasaur with one more tooth. We'll crack that clue. Probably equip the Flare Husk if things don't turn around here. Yikes! Yeah, I was thinking of that quadratic. Why did they pick on the wrong creature? Yeah, I guess with reach, you don't have to worry about it too much here. It's not like I can goad it, you know. I just wanted a really big tempo setup turn. All right. Um, I, I haven't seen any land destruction yet. Maybe they're just on to the removal package and letting people play fair. Who knows? So I think we got to sacrifice a hawk here. Let's equip this onto this. This way we can at least threaten to kill one of them. Do the same thing next turn. Probably crack that clue. See what we can do, keeping up the holdout settlement so that we're safe on anything we draw. It was funny, I was all worried about lands, and here I am sitting with five, which is kind of flooded for this build. I sure love this list. I even love the way the lands look. So cool. Let's do that now. We might find another tooth. We don't. We find that. Let's attack. Huzzah! Take that. This is when you really want to have... Uh, <laughs> what's the card I'm looking for? Um... Prismatic Strands main, right? 
It's like, God, it's 12 power coming at us. It's crazy. We'll tap this one in case I have to block. We've only got two humans. Those ardent recruits, especially with two teeth out, they're not too afraid of that dino. I'll take three, but... Okay. Oh, good. We don't have our basic land out yet, so if we get it, we won't have to worry too much. Feels like it's slipping away. They, they, they just got too much power. We didn't hit them hard enough. So I think we're going for a... Uh, Probably crush it and burn in here. Ooh, that's... I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, yeah, I have. They should have made that skull way more transparent. You can't even read what's behind it. Me, the art critic, right? Coming over for 12. We can hit for seven. Hmm. Do I do a double block here? Just take six. I think I'm going to do that. We'll take seven. Let's hope they don't have a cast down. Chancy, chancy, play with mana up. Probably have a cast down for that. Dang it! <laughs> if we do get it back, I wanted to be able to do that. So it's best to keep that back. We'll come over with two of these because they probably have a cast down. I'll diversify our threats. However, if I keep one of these back, I can at least threaten to uh, kill this. Except that they're just going to have the... Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go after damage here. That's really frustrating that we drew the, the only planes in our list. And now this happens. Okay. Sure. But it's neat, because then they'll, they'll think like, oh, we don't have any basics. We do. We have one. Would have felt really s smarty pants to be able to pull that one off, but I guess not. Stop four of this. I can at least threaten to take out the hunter, depending on what he puts the uh, plus ones on here. Pretty sure they're going to forge. Another good reason to not play the lands. Make them think I got strands or... Definitely want to bring in strands for games two and three. Make a note of it. I haven't seen any red. I think they're just on a uh, Golgari style. It's interesting. I don't believe we saw any land destruction, right? Nope. Exhum. Interesting. Good call. Two mana for a 6-5 with Cascade. Woo! That's pretty cool. People going to deal with stuff. Might as well take it out, right? Ooh, does he? Can we? If we just take this. Now, next turn. Next turn, we're going to be dead to uh, trap. If we take this, so are they. Wait, no, no, that doesn't work. I'm just considering if it's worth killing the uh, hunter. Problem is he could take out both our dudes without any tricks. Why don't we just take it? Uh, maybe they don't have anything. Uh, they can still, they could just block here. I think we take it. We haven't seen red yet. I don't think they have it. I'm just going to let this hit. It's a whole lot. Stick around for the exciting conclusion. Golgari Ramp versus Brute Squad. One of the best things about playing Rogue is keep your opponent on the toes, you know? It's like, what the hell? What's he drawing next? You have a very established list. It's 
Not always the best thing. Everybody kind of knows what you're up to. Oh, shoulder stretch time. <clears throat> Felt myself. Sorry, that was right in the mic. Didn't mean to uh, gross anybody out there. I'm an ardent cracker of knuckles. Well, we shall attack and then lose. Yeah, because uh, what's its name is going to get us regardless. Unless they just screw up and don't block. Attack. Yeah. This game's over. I don't even think it's worth casting this because they'll just know another card in our list, right? And we'll go like this and see how close we got. We were one away, folks. Bonk. Okay. Let's, um, is there a chance? Hold on a minute here. Normally I like to forge, but I think Lost Well's the way to go here. When you put, scry two, okay. Um, yeah, none of this is gonna work. We're at two life here. We save, is there any option or something? We don't really have direct damage. I, Wish I could have done this pr prior to combat. So let's say bottom, bottom, and quit. <laughs> Concede. All right, game two. This is going to be all about you know what, strands. I should have never doubted you. We'll keep the journeys. I think that's all I'm going to roll with. This, uh, I'm going to keep this in. This can actually take some stuff out. Ginger Boot's going to be a bit of an MVP. I've got to get rid of three cards. We'll go one. I want to see those brutes early and often. Husk could be a bit of a liability here. Eh. Honestly, I just don't want to see Relic. I really try to keep those for just... I know we saw Exhum, but that's all we saw. Let's see. Dosin the Falling Leaf. What a cool name. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to keep my aggro up. These are so good. So I'll lose the harsh. It's only going to be good if the game goes late and I have a whole lot of dudes. So I do have two journeys and three strands now. So hopefully it'll be enough. All right, last game of the day, guys. Again, sorry for the technical issues. Uh, hopefully there's another update by next week and we don't have to suffer this again. Keep. All right. Should we just go really aggro? I th actually think this is the right call here. We're going to hit really hard next turn. Come on out, you little... <laughs> Don't be red. Don't. All right. He's, he's staying on theme. This is definitely like some Golgari list. All right. Here we go. We have this. We have this. This is going to hurt. We have this. We have this. We have this. Yes. This is one painful turn. This is a turn that uh, red would be jealous of. Attack for six, turn, your turn one. Crunch. Soon to be nine. <laughs> Brutal hawk play, <laughs> says the quadratic hawk. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is an ugly start. When you're designing a brand new list or something that's, you know, personal to you, it's always, always a good exercise. I'm sure some of you already know this, is to write what your optimal hands are. Oftentimes you'll find like, oh, why am I only playing three of this then? There's another new card. This guy's full of them. Scry three. You may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, draw a card. Everybody's sharing in the color pie now. Torvis, thank you for the compliment, my friend. I I sure hope uh, soon I hope. Or I'll go. <laughs> Not quite sure what you mean by that, but thank you for the props. 
I just hope OBS doesn't freak out on me again next week. But I ain't going anywhere. Put up with a few little frozen screens, big deal. All right, this keeps getting ugly. I'll play this out. For the tempo right now, I actually think it's better to just equip this now. Um, I'll go Hawk. For even more damage. Diversify. He's got cast down. He's got a choice. Strange choice. Takes a bit of thunder away. Mm. First time I, th I don't want to give them credit. They didn't do it, but I think the brewer that used the glamer first was uh, Snap Bolt, wasn't it? I think that's the first time I saw it, but I haven't been uh, perusing a lot of the lists as regularly as I used to. There's a creature to get in our way, folks. They can. Blow through this. That was a actually a really good play on the uh, ginger brute because that card can be murderous. Let's play both here. I'll get that bird up to four. Um, how will you do that? Well, I will tap the germ and make it kill itself. I'm a cruel master. Come here, germ. <laughs> I know you've been alive for all of about two seconds. Here we go. Boink. And then we'll put this on here. Since there's no black, this is just attack time. But we're getting really creature light. I've got to be real careful here. If it's kind of fog, I'm going to cry. Coming in for lethal. On turn three. All right. Swamp cycling. This makes me nervous. Big big critter and a cast down and they're right back in it let's let's think ginger brute that's what will seal the deal in a game like this come on ginger brute oh no gets the big troll he needs defense though <laughs> don't think i'll be running into that Ooh, that's a nice call right now ah, da, da, da. is it worth keeping that back Let me do all right. Guess this and attack. I'm sure there's a cast down coming our way. That's the case. I will maximize out. For, oh, and we just win. All right. I was expecting all this drama and. Uh, I was going to double equip onto the Ornithopter if that met an early end. Ah, all right, last game, no matter what. Unfortunately, our opponent knows that Ginger Brute is a great card. Yeah, really kept him in that game. I think we would have shut the door about two turns sooner had little B Sugar Mouth lived. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't been playing much Diablo. My God, that takes a lot of gigs. Mulligan. Keeping this. Really, really like this hand. Well, no, I don't. It's a very mid hand. I mean, our last hand was awesome. But we've got nice protection and strands here. Keep. It's only going to prove good late game, so. And because of that, I think I'm going to throw it back. Boop. Done. I'll see you later when it matters, when there's big nine nines on the table. Let's instead get that Ardent Recruit online ASAP. Let's turn it. If, if I get, you know what, um, the uh, initiative here, I'm going to be, be upset again because there's our only planes in the list. Hawk Tribal. You got to with a name like that. You're going to have at least four builds. Now they're off to the rocket start, darn it. 
All right. Uh, at this stage of the game, that might be a worthy uh, poll. Nah, that's reckless. That'll get us two. That'll get us one. Ugh. This cost two. Oh, man. Yeah, this is moving like molasses all of a sudden. Let's get threshold or whatever it's called. Metalcraft. That's what I mean. More artifacts, please. Green blast. Destroy target. Green permanent. Or counter target green spell. What would you say if they ever came out with a blast for every color? That's not a bad uh, habit to get into, Quadratic Hawk. If you're gonna, there's a lot worse things you could do with a white. All right, I am very glad I didn't journey there. I just have another one. It's ardent recruits are probably gonna get double blocked this next turn. Come on over. Oh, I like this. Sure. I'll take a whopping two. Sometimes the attack isn't worth it. So says I. Adequate hawk. <laughs> Love it. Okay, now we get stuff. Bloop. We still have to pay. What sort of treachery is this? I guess we could just do a fake out, right? That does have flash. Attack. My eye is doing this little muscle spasm. I'm glad I have glasses on. Look like I'm winking at all of you or something. How does two mana becomes or two attack becomes seven? Like this. Should I keep it back? Nah, we'll go aggro. I think I, I could trade inspector for one of their dudes. But, but no. All right. Never had to pay so much for a tooth. That's ridiculous. That's a lie. I've paid all three before. There are some games, when you play stuff long enough, you'll have incredible scenarios that are almost unrepeatable. Given the quantum realm. Yeah, Welkin Hawk. That's one that sleeps on a lot. There's the uh, Conquistadors. And there's that new 3-1 that's uh, very... Ooh, that's uh, getting interesting. Problem is, he's got a good blocker, so I think I'm going to have to take that out. Ah, the scenario. The correct magic dictates I cast this, and then I... But I have to... I want to hit right now. So I'm going to... If we top deck like a seat, I'm going to be mad at myself, but... Just the tempo kind of dictates that. We might not find a land, and then we're just stuck. We, so hopefully you all don't think I punted there. I'm just going to come in with everything. I'll do this in case of snuff out or something. <laughs> I've paid seven hundred for a tooth before. Says quadratic hawk. <laughs> dentists are dentists are expensive. Yowza! All right, we're knocking on the door of victory unless they've got some life gain tricks. Never know with Golgari. There's a lot of ways to do that. Might even see a knot of the bone, or since we've already seen an exhum. Something I like, uh, the composition of this whole card, the art, that lady, that guy's not very good at drawing faces. Or woman, I can't tell by the uh, moniker, but but the, the whole vibe of it feels pretty good. Feels pretty uh, elf-like. Here's another one. Ooh, I'd like to live there. My kind of place. Get a little uh, tiny table, magic online, candle, some good... Good wine. Woo! That's where my heart goes. All right. It is time. All right, I'll do it now. Oh, one, one. Give me a land. Let's see. So we would have drawn a Sun Chaser, and I was right. I was right. That was interesting. We'll rock here. Now, I wish I didn't attack with that because I, I can double tooth here. Um, I just, still going to do this. Just kind of trying to set up. I've drawn five cards this turn. That's pretty good times. Here comes another creature. 
make that ornithopter relevant. So when my son plays me against or plays against me in this, he he always thinks this is the best deck I ever built because of turns like this where it's just draw two, draw two, draw two, refill, refill, smash. Attack. Stuff is going to die. Probably got to cast down double block for us. There's just a moment's peace. Oh no. They glam. They glamour. Stop making things shine. That is a nice EOT trick. Good news is we can kill it. And he doesn't know it. Unless they got like a defile. That would, that would, that would help the trade. It'd still die though. Uh, ghastly Demise. That's, that's an option. Oh man, they're going to make me choose. He's already got enough mana, so I don't mind trading here. I'll say okay here. I'll bring out this. We're going to kill him with Ornithopter unless they get a flyer next turn anyway. So He could have an Exhum. I'm still not too worried about that because we don't have a, a Dino in the yard. So let's make sure this thing's stats are 5. That is. Yep. Here we go. Okay, my, is my camera still frozen up? Wow. It was like an, over an hour or two ago. Long show today. The aggro deck that plays slow. Well, not, not according to last hand. So, we drew five cards and we're stuck with the Ornithopter as our only bet. He really needs a dino now. The man is there. Is this a dinosaur? It is. We weren't fast enough. Might still get there though. I can make that. That's one, two, three. Boy, that's a strange choice. Oh, they saw prismatic strands and they saw of one mind. Hey, I guess that was one of our better critters. All right. Let me uh, draw here. Come on. Say okay. I like that. A lot of flyers. Opponents at five. Maybe they wasted that cast down. It's like, aha! We always draw at least two cards. Right? If I if I attack with both, I could maybe I could take that out. Is that worth it? I'm gonna get rid of that anyway. Interesting scenario. Yeah, I don't have anything in my hand to really bluff with though, so I'll let this go. Oh yeah, VLTV. Very annoying indeed. Makes sense though. One of those brontosauruses. I think that's the one with the mega long neck. Wonder if they're. Uh, wonder if because of brontosaurus, uh, giraffes became a thing like in the in the genetic tree, after the meteor hit and there was something with that leftover fami familial DNA or something. Quite the reach. That's the latest theory. They're closely or closer to birds than anything. I like when aggro has to play defense, though. No swamp up. I like this. All righty. Let's, uh, oh boy, that's a good pull. Top deck of the day there. Bonk. Uh, they could deglame still. They could cast down still because of the presence of the elf. There's only one card in their hand, though, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Gonna invest here. Put this on this. Attack! Whoa! I ain't blocking for nothing. Do we just win, or is that elf gonna do some shenanigans with that land? We'll see. 
Yep, here we go. What's this? Ooh, gaining whole lots of life. Five life. Four, oh, ten life. Good grief. Fifteen, just like that. Oh, that's depressing. Well, we had a good poll. They had a good poll, so. All right. Thought we had them there, folks. And again, the one time we take initiative, the plane not in our hands this time, it's in play. Yeah, that used to be, Feed the Clan used to be a, we, we did a spoof on that for the uh, Golgari restaurant, and it says, Feed Your Clan. It's another one that I think is a little over the heads of most people. They're like, what, what card's that? I even show the artwork for it, but uh, yeah, it's no joke. It's always good to keep those little Rolodex of cards like that. Ouch! This is going to hurt. This feels like they have a land in hand, like, all right, I just have to start swinging and hoping here. Ooh, usually Forge is the answer on the second initiative through the dungeon, but uh, that scry is looking better and better to prevent a uh, top deck of a land. All right, we're dead next turn. I could keep one Ornithopter back. This is a very good pull. Top decking like a champ today. All right. I want to untap so that he. I'm like... Oh, I want every color mana. I mean, we have a drum already, so there's that, right? Okay, we'll keep this dude back. We'll attack with these two. Crunch. Crunch. Going to be close, folks. Okay. Ah, let's see. I think we got to go Lost Well. Hawk's pretty damn good here. I'll say uh, bottom top because we can uh, tooth our way to victory. Or heck, even get another creature with the uh, flare husk there. But I'll keep our little card back here. I would have settled for another one mind or a thought cast there. What tricks do they have? Nine, ten exactly. I haven't really seen any boosts. Oh, but they've got the... Um, so we're at five right now. So I'm kind of forced to block here. Hold on a minute. If that seven gets through, we're dead. Um, shoot. Five. That's two, four, five. Well, they got us either way. Oh, man. You know, I could have gotten out of this if I was paying more attention by equipping the flare, dropping this, equipping the flare husk onto that, and we would have survived. But they've got us. What a fun way to lose, though. I mean, that was my fault, not the decks. If everybody sees that I had the mana. I could have, I could have uh, equipped this up and just played full defense here. So we'll let them get us. We shall block. I guess it really don't, doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Take this dude out. Make him think we got some trick in our hand. We don't. We take eight, and then we. Our life gets eaten. Splat. Darn it. Oh, well. Not the deck's fault. That was me. Maybe five more games with it. I would have remembered that. I should have, I should have seen that. I'm usually, usually Mr. Flare Husk here. But the Undercity gets us. We didn't pay off the corrupt officials. All right, y'all. Well, there's the fifth and final game for today. Again, sorry for the uh, technical issues. Hopefully one of these... Next shows won't have them. And again, I, I will be here. I'm not missing any shows in the near future. My vacation butts up right near it. Uh, so I probably won't have the best tech right when I come back because I'll be literally off the plane and probably streaming the next couple hours. But it'll be a fun thing to look forward to. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Shirazaman and Mchimsky, as always, for showing up week in, week out, and being able to uh, answer your questions and provide links and everything. Uh, love you guys. And uh, Quadratic Cock, good to see you. And uh, Torvis and all you others. Sorry if I, I forgot many of you. Uh, but anyway, thanks for putting up with my bald self. We'll see you same time, same place next week. I hope these uh, things work because my screen's frozen, but I'll listen in as you will. And we'll see you next time, guys. Adios. This program, Germs, is discussed in Chapter 622 of your textbook, which accompanies this series. Germs. Germs, germs, germs.
everywhere germs. Dirty, filthy germs. But where do they come from? Germs originated in Germany before rapidly spreading throughout the rest of the world. They're basically a form of malevolent bacteria with one purpose, to spread germs. <laughs> 